Hello, everybody. We are back with another Cyber Fun Day. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yep. I know they're excited, right? They look forward to us every week. We got some great stuff to show off tonight. Real quick, shout out to everybody, Star Wars fan. No spoilers for The Mandalorian. I repeat, don't do it. No spoilers. Don't do it. I, I'll see you do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I haven't even gotten to talk to Ryan about it. Don't talk about it. Yep. No, 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 no. Awesome. No Chris, you liked it, right? It was good? Yeah. Cool. Don't say anything else. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You got to watch it. That's all you got to know. Awesome. Yeah. So we have 31 awesome items or flavors for you guys 31? tonight. Yeah, because there's 31. Our mystery boxes are kind of cool tonight. Mm -hmm. We have some certified, some new in box, some really cool minifig. Yeah, box. a lot of stuff that just came in the last few days. Oh, yeah. No, this week was like really good for stuff so it was like we had a couple people that came in that i didn't even know if we're gonna come in this week or not to make it for cyber fun day for us so it worked out really well and then we had a father and son come back and drop off some other things so i'm excited that was some cool stuff uh, i agree i think there was a lot of a lot of good stuff that came in yeah we've got a couple things Figures, we haven't sets, had before stuff. yeah like there was that scene that the father and son brought in earlier this week and i was like dude i'm really glad you came back so awesome Hopefully, you guys are ready, we're excited, and we are gonna let you know, just like before, if you guys want an item or multiple items tonight, you have to claim it in the comments. So I claim lot number one or two, and we will make sure you guys have it, and starting tomorrow till next Sunday, you could pay for it and pick it up, and we will have it here for you. I also wanna remind you guys that if you are paying for it, to actually pick it up within that week. We get it, holiday season, people's got stuff going on. But the more that stacks up, the more it gets cluttered here and then we can't help other people out. So please, if you guys are claiming tonight and they're gonna pay for it first thing tomorrow into the next week, pick it up within the week, please. We appreciate that. We appreciate everybody who's joining with us tonight. I just wanna throw that out there for everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's a very, very good call out. That, that's a good one. Thank you, Sarah. For you parents, if the kids are with you or whatnot, we can hold the secret Santa stuff. So if you guys are claiming something tonight, have the kids look away or don't listen. So Well, well more importantly, when you claim it, tell us that to be quiet. Because we typically announce um, the winners, whatever else, or flash. Right. Else. If you tell us to be quiet, we got you covered. Right. So if you let us know, I claim lot number one, two, three, et cetera, and then just put shh afterwards, We're good. we'll make sure we got you because <laughs> we get it. Secret Santa, all about that, of course. And we can hold things for you till the weekend before Christmas. Of course, Secret Santas and stuff like that. Make sure your kids aren't sneaking around being naughty, of course. We'll have that for you here. Just let us know. If it's free of charge. It's just a courtesy from us to you as customers and friends, especially for the holidays. And then is, are there any other things I should mention tonight? Um, well, one thing for, for, for instance, uh, our microphone is fixed. It changes colors now. Yay! Um, so so dude, who was the first last Bingus. week? Was it? Bingus was the first one. So he gets the color today. I, I, is, I, I, don't, know, I don't know if Bingus is here or not. I we still wish you could honor it. Because wasn't there like a whole thing where someone gave it to someone else? That was, that was the week before. Oh, okay. No, was the, week before was, the, week, the week before was the week before was Black Friday. We didn't have one. Oh, before. that's right. We did not have one. So um, maybe maybe our, our our audience out there can help us out. But either way, um, if not, if Bingus is not here, Kurt was the first one to say hello. He said hello with a nice little uh, baby Yoda there. <laughs> um, Shout out to Kurt for his awesome. So, Baby Yoda if we do post. not hear from Bingus here, uh, Bingus said he wanted the yellow last week, yes, but I, I don't believe Bingus is here tonight. Yeah. Um, I mean, so, we could honor the color, but we could honor well, we another day. Well, we can just do it when he, when he shows up next time. We yeah, we could honor it another so, day. So, Kurt, Mr. Welker, you are allowed to choose what color the microphone is tonight. What shall you choose? Mm. <laughs> that would be interesting. What do you pick? You pick, we do it. On a range of colors. Oh, you know what? 
he should have his daughter picked. That'd be cool. I bet you she has uh, a plethora maybe. of colors. Maybe the boys have cl- a plethora of colors they like. I don't know. Kurt, do you know what color you want the mic? Green. 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 Going green. green. We're going with green. All right. Let me go. Let me find a, a good a good uh, Yoda Say green color. here. Let me kill the kill the light. Uh, we're gonna go solid. And then green. And we're gonna go a little dark. Hold on. I think we're gonna go shades. Why is it? There we there go. There we go. There we go. We're gonna save that. Looks like boom. It now looks it's like green. a big Jolly Rancher. <laughs> it's a nice green. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So we are gonna get right into it. We got 31 awesome things to show you guys tonight. We want to get everything rolling. Make sure we double back a little bit so other people can see joining in what we have to offer you guys as awesome fans, as customers. And we're going to get started, right? Are you ready, yep. Chris? Okay. Damn. You worked on a couple things here, didn't you? Cool. Like I a Minecraft on set? One. One thing? Yeah. Yep, I, was, like I was giving you a benefit of doubt, but all right. Cool. You, so, I mean, he, he at least is helping a little bit, even though he should be over here helping with his cords. He did spend the day here. He did, but he was doing it for- He did schoolwork. He was he, he was he was doing that for selfish reasons, though. He wanted to start yeah. a store, but 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 and? It, it didn't happen. Oh. <laughs> Don't put me he, on the spot, he Dad. Apparently, he apparently, uh, he's hiding over here. Chicken out. He okay. apparently, uh, no, up? he apparently, uh, they ran out of time. Oh. So he wants to come back next week to try again. What? <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I want this to be an every Friday thing. Oh, we'll talk. We'll talk. I don't know. Well, I'll put that boy to work. Um, I do have one more announcement. Um, our web store, our e store, is partially fixed. Um, and we have been re adding a lot of inventory to it. So if you guys check out the e store, which is Bricks and Minifigs Crest Hill, uh, dot com, um, which you can also link through it through our main uh, website as well. There is stuff on there again. Um, we are working on getting it up there. The Hopefully, the shipping is fixed as well. Um, so you guys should be good to order stuff online if you want and ship it to whoever you want now. And, uh, we'll be adding more sets. I think I've got 120 more certified sets I have to add. And then we're going to be working on all the new stuff, um, for, that we have currently in the store. And, uh, we do have a lot of new 2021 stuff coming in. Um, so we are going to make a lot of that available for pre-orders. Um, the, especially the sought after stuff. We are hopefully getting a lot of the new Mandalorian sets. Um, and uh, we've got what city sets, creator sets, friend sets, a little, bit. Uh, a little bit of everything. So, we got a lot of stuff coming for you guys. So, make sure you guys check out the download store. If you guys supers. have any problems with it, please let us know so we can get it fixed as soon as possible. So, did you get supers? Superheroes, there are new mechs and stuff coming. Yes, so a lot of cool stuff. I want cap. I really All want right. Cap. So, beyond that, I think it's it. And All right, course, let's get going. Of course, don't forget to the end, we have our mystery boxes. Right. Three mystery boxes tonight, as we did last week, which was kind of fun. That was the, that was probably one of our well, and it was, it most was, fun ones yet. And it was the first mystery box that didn't get opened. Right. Nobody got it, but the item and, sold the next morning. And nobody knows what it was. Well, maybe some people do. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. We got to get started with Moving this. Moving on. So, go. without further ado... Welcome to Cyber Fun Day, and this is lot number one here. The ski resort came out earlier this year from City Line, which is really cool. This one's actually one of the bigger ones too. Um, some new prints or stickers. Um, the the snow blower or the snow shovel or the plow. Whatever, plow. I don't know what you want to call it. Yeah, they that actually kind of a cool they one. actually utilize the uh, fire truck ladder, ladder? bases yeah. for that now. Instead. That's cool because like. Made an extra if you wide. see real plows, they're they're more similar to that because they have that bend and yep, everything. on the top. So that's really cool. I actually like the center building and then the whole ski loft mm-hmm. build. I think that's really clever. Um, thank you for showing it off like this. And it's cool they have those little like one by one or two by two round wooded printed tiles, which are really nice. Which so shows like logs or something. Oh, in the build. You talking about like these? Yeah. Yep. It's one by ones. I really like that. That really adds. Uh, I believe those are like, printed. Those are not stickers. Yeah, they're printed because they, they come started to come in friend yeah. sets. So I really like that. And tonight we have this one here for seventy-five bucks, and this is certified from us here. And I believe all the bags were and sealed. And sealed. Yep, it is so brand bad. new, brand oh, new sticker so- sheet, brand new book. And that's oh. why we 
That's why you have this little paper cover on the front so it, the, the instruction book can stay nice and neat. Oh, man. You know what? Two, you did this. Boom. <laughs> ah, yeah. I, I actually accidentally printed that. Sarah put it on the back. Uh, but yeah, so this is all the other stuff that comes included. I think we should do that more personally. It's not a bad idea. I think this is a good idea for people who are buying certified sets. If it was more spread out like this, like Lego is showing off what's all in here, like Assembly Square. Uh, no, that's not the right one. Um, the newer one for City, based off the little show. Bookshop? No. Um, the other city. Okay. Uh, the, town <laughs> hall, the town hall one, the town square, I think it is. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what's that's what's throwing me off. All right, so that's lot number one, the ski resort for seventy five bucks. All right, next up, this is our first Oops. Christmas that was holiday. A right in your face. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of. This is our first Christmas holiday Sorry. mini fig pack. Um, we have a better idea for next week, but we're not going to tell you about that. So I hope you guys really like this one. And here we go. This is our Santa and Star Wars friends lot here. We thought this would be really cool because we have Yoda in his awesome Santa Christmas outfit. We threw Ray and Finn in our custom printed sweaters here. So we got a Christmas tree and a Santa sweater. We got Mrs. Claus. And you got to have a little fun with BB-8 here on a little snowboard. Thank you, Chris, for putting this on a white plate. I think that looks really good. Yeah, he's trying to, try to get the little snow effect going on there. So tonight we have this here for $55. So you're getting, you know, Santa and Mrs. Claus, a Ray and Finn with their original yep, torso. Ori original torsos and the $8 uh, custom torsos. Yeah, exactly. So an extra $16. In and then you can get torsos. yourself a Christmas Yoda. And, I mean, look at this BB-8. That's cute. I like that. Well, this mm -hmm. is actually our second Christmas lot uh, for Cyber Fun Days. Yes, but the other one was a mystery. Yes. So, yep. Awesome. So, yep, this is lot number two here for $55. Okay. What else we got here? Next up here from the Lego Movie 2, this is the Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. I'm trying to say that five times fast. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I already had trouble making sure I read it right because I don't Shimmer pay attention to the set. So... <laughs> Shimmer and shine. Shimmer and shine sparkle the, spa. The S H I thing is throwing me off a little bit. The she part of it is throwing me off. <laughs> You're Jewish. You should be used to that. No, I don't speak that. Here. <laughs> We're not talking about this. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, by the by way. The, yeah, first day. Yeah. Happy second Hanukkah day. Was the second day? I'm sorry. The, 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 all the know, other I company photos threw me off because they made they have a little uh, menorahs and then I only had one candle and so it threw me off. We need to Did do you that say here. Your days are off. Uh, go away. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, tonight we have this brand new in box here for $60. So this is actually really cool. This is one of the first sets where they started implementing this awesome three by three or two by three tile like shield, shield plates, tile. Yeah. And it's in translucent light blue, which is really cool. Yep. And then, uh, of course, as a, a spoiler, if you haven't seen the movie, Lucy with her real hair. Oh, no. And then, of course, I actually like this version of uh, Angry Kitty. Relax, Kitty. Well, because she, well, she actually oh, has. Oh, it's right uh, here. Calm down. Calm down, down Kitty. Kitty. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Calm down, Kitty. Right there. I like the flamingo. I think that's a really cool build. And then the little, like, octopus guy or squid. Flamingo. Yep. I like that one, too. So, yeah, tonight, brand new in box from the Lego Movie 2 here. Lot number Ooh, three, for sixty dollars. Yep. And that's brand new. Yeah, brand new. Brand new. Thank you, new. All right. Next up here from Lego Friends is the Lighthouse Rescue Center, certified here. Yep. Sealed bags. Should be sealed bags. Yep. For forty-five dollars. So if you guys are interested in this awesome lighthouse, this came out last year, I believe. It would have been. Yeah, I think it was the end of last year. Hello. Don't cheat. He's cheating. It's not cheating. <laughs> it's making sure the audience knows I'm right. But one of the really cool things that about one of the one of the really cool things about the set too is that this coral color actually glows under black light. So every color, every piece that Lego makes, including all the other little starfish and everything else that's here, all glow under black light, which is really cool. It also comes with a light brick for the um, tower here, the lighthouse. Um, and has a water reactive textile piece 
Ba-da! Which, if I remember right, goes to the little hut back here. So that's hiding away as like a little flap. So it's pretty cool. Um, so that's lot number four, the Lighthouse Rescue Center for 45 bucks. And again, this is a sealed certified set. All right. You guys ready for the next one? I hope you guys love this because we've had a few of these here and customers definitely have really appreciated us having these here. Next up here, lot number five is our awesome new Bander box, as you guys saw. Previously, Flips open. yep. Flips open. This one here we have in the dark bluish gray color, but we still have, what are the colors? Orange, We still green. have orange, blue, green, and gray. We do not have purple anymore. Oh, but orange, blue, green, and gray. No lavender. So the deal tonight is you get this brand new Bander box and our big bulk Bag. They're eighty dollar bag. Eighty dollar bag here tonight. Bag you get both of these. What? How big? For seventy dollars. Yeah, <laughs> seventy dollars you get this for. And see this bag. This bag full of awesome parts is irrelevant because you guys will be able to fill it with whatever you want. So it doesn't matter. We're just showing you that this is how big the bag is. And this yeah, is you the can box. technically fill it up a little bit more too. I just had to leave a little bit of uh, lag, a little bit of uh, space there, so it would actually sit down. Uh, but Sarah's bringing over what the Bander box actually is for those of you who missed it. Go We're going to show it off real quick. Yeah, so the lid opens up here. Hold on. Oh yeah. Awesome. Move no, this all the way. Just leave it there. It's okay. I don't have to open it all the way. Oops, yeah. Got it. yeah, you. Do. All right. So this is the Bander box. Uh, as Dave was showing off, it does have a plate mounted to the top, which, by the way, has really good grip look at that yeah you remember the whole thing? <laughs> but what's nice about it is if your kids or yourself ever want to play with lego you do this and you can play with it you can grab your stuff you can build right next to it so it's got a nice Chris, little play area Chris, do you know what the, the sound is the sound of music <laughs> uh, but dave love that. oh no you made a big mess on the floor how are we ever going to clean this up like this Mm -hmm. Oh, a handle. <laughs> I guess Sarah wanted to play a little hangman. <laughs> Done. And just like that, all that Lego is put away. Right. Done. So you guys can get this awesome box and our biggest bag Yay. to fill bricks and pieces with for $70 tonight. And this goes to any Bander box we currently have in the store. So you get to do any of the four colors with your choice of bag for 70 bucks. Nice. But that's only tonight. It has to be clean tonight. Right, so if you guys want our Bender box and this awesome bag that you could fill full of bulk from us that we have been putting out these past few months, or weeks actually, you could pick your own color, you could pick any of the parts and etc. for this bag, and that goes right home with you tonight through into the week for 70 bucks. Not bad, huh? And that, that right there is lot number five. Lot number six. Lot number six from an awesome prequel. It's from the Lego movie, Lord Business's Evil Lair. <laughs> that wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you get awesome Lord Business with his crazy stilt legs. Which I did find out later on that actually this portion of the leg is actually attached. Yeah. So you have to use a yeah you have to use a little tool to kind of pop it in there and, mm -hmm. and break it, or else you will break the piece. Yeah. You can find out. So it's a special piece that only Lord Business gets. Yep. It's really unless cool. you switch it with somebody else. But it's it's a cool piece to use, especially you know for other minifigs. So. Yeah. So this one comes brand new with all of these minifigures, these including my pa, uh, Vitruvius. Uh, Angry Kitty, Lord, uh, Lord Business, or President, President Business. Business. The one. Um, I forgot what the, the wrestle guy's name is. What is his name? El Macho, no. El Macho Wrestler, if that makes sense. Um, so this is, again, brand new. And it looks like Jeremy is picking it up. Yes. Nice. So it's gone. All right. Congrats, so, Jeremy. Out the door. Yeah, brand new. It's an awesome Whoop. set. Okay. Next up, Chris. You got to talk about this one because you did some cool stuff with this. Yep. Talk about it, not frame. Okay, so this one is the. Come on. No, I'm I know. Waiting. 
hideout. It's called the snow hideout. The snow, the snow hideout for thirty dollars. It comes with a creeper, a snow golem. I think that's what they called it. Yep. And then Steve with wooden tools. Perfect. And this does come apart. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Opens up and comes apart. So that you can play inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's he's camera shy, folks. I'm sorry. And then We're trying. this also pops up too, so I think you could like do different things, kind of like a modular. I think. Chris. Yes. All Minecraft sets can be built together. Cool, real quick, to help you, real quick. Okay, look at the camera. Okay, and just no, 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 no. just do no. it real quick. No. Because this camera here. This camera should be shy of you, not the other way around. Okay? So look at that camera, and you're the boss, not the camera. No. Okay? You got this. He refuses. He's, he's turning red. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So we got the snow high out here, Minecraft for $30. If you want it, claim it tonight. All right. What do we got next, Dave? All right. Next up, another awesome certified sealed box is the brand new. Harry Potter Hogwarts Express. This one is awesome. This came out last year. Following into this year with some other awesome Harry Potter sets, as you fans out there will know. And tonight we have this here, certified sealed bags for 65 bucks. That's pretty sweet. I, lo I love the Dementor that comes with this one. That I think it's really cool. And this would be a really nice train to put under your Christmas tree. You could have it running around and I believe it's, I don't believe it comes motorized, but you can. You there's can a lot of people that have actually it. motorized it. And, and but what's cool it. is there. there's an older one that's a motorized train that no one yes. really talks about. So I think that's really cool. And for you guys at home, I mean, come on. Who doesn't want this tree going in a circle under your tree? Train is, under your tree, not tree under your train. Yeah, something like that. Ryan is going to have to learn how to modify it because his mom and wants this to modify it. this set does yeah. not come yeah. with any track. I already found out. I already yes. found out. I already found this set place. does not come with any track. Thank you, Chris. But I we have plenty track. of turns here. So if you guys are interested, we got track that we could, you know, sell to you pretty well for this awesome set here. Again, this is lot number eight, Hogwarts Express, for $65. Okay. Next up. Try not to show anything else off over here. Yeah. Next up here, this is brand new sealed. Both these things, brand new sealed from an awesome trilogy I love. This here is from the Lego version of The Hobbit. And this here is the Mirkwood Elf Guard and Barrel Escape, which is actually one of the funniest scenes in the film. And not only that, yeah, this, awesome this, is, this, is the, this is the Mirkwood Elf Guard. This is the poly bag. This is the barrel escape set. And what's cool is this This is 100% brand new in box, and it's really cool because you get this awesome little holiday sticker right here. Look at that. There's only a, a, there's only a handful of Hobbit or Lord of the Rings sets that have this mm -hmm. on there. And it is part of the box. It is not yeah. a sticker. It's not a sticker, which is awesome because you know how we don't like stickers here that much, so... Nope. All about the print. No stickers. All about that print. About so, yeah. Print. So, we have this here <laughs> no tonight. No sticker. For $120. So you Come can on, get... I made you laugh. <laughs> I like to give it up a weird, like, haze up here. It's weird. Oh. Uh... Yeah, right? No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> Too early for that. I'm just kidding. So, we got so the that... Hobbit sets, lot for $120. If you want, claim lot number nine. That's a pretty sweet deal, honestly. It is. Brand new sets. We almost never get Lord of the Rings sets, let alone new ones. I mean, this is a Hobbit set, but still, still, that's pretty awesome. Next up here, for you awesome Dino fans, we have the. Well, you've got it in your hand there. <laughs> the Tyrannodon capture set. Look at that. This is a really cool color. I love the one. I know uh, Nicholas here at your middle. He loves the dinosaurs. Yes. It's always coming in like, David, can we battle with dinosaurs? And we threw in an extra figure that's not really complete, but this is actually, everything else is right, but the head is actually from Star Wars. Oh, no enough. way. But it makes it really cool because of the double chin strap. There. Oh, so this guy's got a second job? Yep. He's dueling up. Cool. So tonight you we You know, because eventually Disney's going to own all that, all the Jurassic Park series, too. 
if they don't already. Isn't it all Sp like Spielberg or whatever anyway they did those? Uh, partially. So tonight we have this here for $20, and I think we see something in the chat here. No. No. <laughs> nope. Dave's going crazy. All right, so that's the train and I'm yeah, capture for $20 if you want. Okay. All right, next up. This is probably one of my this favorite going ones on for the lot. This is really fun um, to put together. So tonight, yeah, it does, I think. tonight for the first time, we have this awesome minifig bundle. It is Star Wars, and it is our Mandalorian bundle here. And we have all this, including the child, for $75. So let me let me just go into detail real quick. We have so let's, two let's... different versions of the Mandalorian. So we have the one that works for Darth Maul from Death Watch. And then we have a regular version of it that we see. Not only that, we have two other figures from the Mandalorian Battle Pack, which is really cool, which I really like this green one. Like, this one really stands out. And then we had a buddy who brought in this custom IG droid here with a movable head, and it just C-clipped onto the body, and we threw in these awesome brick arms Storm Yeah, so it's a, it's, a, it's a custom brick arms IG I think it's an IG eleven. Uh, yeah, IG head, eleven. But so it is from the Mandalorian, but it comes comes with the IG eighty eight head as well. So you can kind of go back and forth. And then, as Dave said, we did put two of the Brick Arms blasters on here, um, so that you can have the full IG eleven experience. Where he was trying to go in for the the child with Mando too, where he's yeah. just shooting everybody. I also do have to point out that when it comes to this head. Um, I put it on there. I if somebody claims this tonight, I advise you not to take it off the body. Um, yes. The clip is a little bit worn, but I mean, once it's, it's on just, there, it's just once the it's on there, the... you could still play with it a little bit. You could still move the head so it could spin around with both its different. Um, yeah, what's really nice about it is it's got all the different the different rows of eyes that you can move. Yeah, so tonight we have this here for seventy five dollars, and I mean this is an awesome Mandalorian pack. This Mando is worth forty dollars just by yeah, itself. Yeah, just by itself, because you only get two from the set, and they're different. Mm -hmm. So technically, it's one percent. Uh, the face is different on both of them. There's a high brow and a low brow. Really? Yep. Yeah. And one of them is five dollars more than the other. Wait, seriously? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is extremely cool. Yes. And then we got uh, Chris asking, "Do you know if you can hook up a motor to the Hogwarts train?" Yes, you can. There are not instructions for it from Lego, but you can find them online, and there are plenty of videos on how to do it. Basically, you just have to modify the coal car to accommodate the control box and then slide the uh, powered wheels right underneath where they regular ones are. Right, so right. Yes. It's really, really well done as a train. You only, I think you only need about 20 extra parts to extend it out and then Yeah, it's the honestly not that bad. I've seen plenty of people YouTube it and they, they show you what they do, and it's really sweet. So, yes, we can do that. Kurt is saying that I was right. <laughs> I just got done doing it. I didn't say you were wrong. I was just, I didn't know that was the case. <laughs> I thought they were the same figures. So that's that's awesome. Look at All that, right. Lego. One little thing. So next one up, we got lot number 12. Lot number 12 here. This is actually one of my favorite little things. This is Stormer's Freeze Machine from Lego Hero Factory. Um, Stormer's actually my favorite of the Hero Factory characters. So there I really is. like this. And for those of you who don't know, he's the old-time veteran of the Hero Factory crew. So he's the one who like teaches the newbies what's up. So we have these three awesome little like f jumpers. Um, I don't want to do. It <laughs> so you're gonna, oh, you're gonna fling it at me. I can't show them that because I can't show them the they, other side. Let's just say they bounce. And I actually found an extra orange one, so we threw it here. And tonight we got this here for fifteen dollars. And what's cool is like you could freeze them with this awesome rotating freeze ray. And I just put a little. Yep. And then you there. can throw them right you into can the back. Throw them right into the back. Capture them. I think you could fit three in here. I don't know if you can fit all three of them. In there. I know you can fit the two. I don't know if you can fit three. I don't know. Almost. But you can you can definitely get two in there. Yeah. But these guys are really cool, and it's like two new pieces. I actually really like the head part here. Like it's just a really cool piece. I can yeah. see it being used as like a shoulder pad or a knee pad or something. For something else, bionicle or yeah, whatever. Related. Or something. And it does have some really awesome feet. I love these pieces. Yeah, these feet pieces. Really good for uh, reminds me of like Robocop Max. Yeah. So, for you guys who are buying the cool Hero Factory fans, we have this here. 
ready for you guys to go home. Built and all for fifteen dollars. Okay. Next we up. Have next, safe. next up here from my favorite Star Wars Rebels. We have the Ezra's speeder bike set for thirty dollars. This is awesome because it's only like one of three sets that Ezra comes in, but it's the only set with this kind of Sabine Lynn, which is sweet. I actually really like with the green hair a little bit more than her original variant. Really, I like the orange one. You orange like the orange one better? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the green really works. But yeah, yeah, tonight we have this here for $30, and I made sure I threw the lightsaber with him. Although, Lego, you know, this is, you know. It's close, a but little bit lazy. But I think I think Brick Arms actually made one. That, that yeah, I showed cool. you that, and your jaw dropped. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So yeah, we have this here tonight, thirty dollars. These are really good speeders. I actually really like this green one here. Chris is claiming it. Oh man, oh. Chris! All right, look Bottom at that. Number thirteen, gone. Uh, Chris, Kurt, you were beat. Congrats, Kurt! You were so close, so close, Kurt. I will say, in, in case this, this will affect anybody, um, we have heard that um, YouTube apparently processes a little faster than Facebook does. So if you're really trying to get some stuff, you might have to switch over to YouTube to try to get that extra advantage. Um, just saying. But uh, I know that we've had that happen before, and I've actually uh, had the same thing happen to me with uh, Lego Master Jessica, which she was doing Star Wars Trivia Night for May the 4th. So YouTube is definitely a little bit better, uh, but if you're, if you're really, really trying to get something kind of crazy, but normally Facebook is just fine. Sorry, I had to do a little PSA there. It's all good. So congrats. That was really awesome. Really quick. Next up here, this one's really fun. Sarah actually really <sighs> likes these. these. I gotta, hold on. I can't stand the focus. I'm trying, guys. Focus. I'm using a tiny little webcam to try to film this you because uh, we actually did try to buy a camera, a nice camera. Unfortunately, it had no manual or autofocus. So right now I'm trying to get this one. You guys got to help me out here. I'm trying to get Sarah to let us buy the new iPhone 12 so that we can use that instead of doing all this craziness. Because there's also, I've already had a couple comments about shakiness of hands. It, uh, it will get rid of all the, this crazy... Yeah, stuff yeah and it will actually be better so put in the chat you know ha hashtag iphone 12 um and and try to get me that iphone 12 so we don't have to do this with this little tiny camera anymore <laughs> i'm literally holding onto this camera and i apologize for the shakiness i'm holding onto the camera with two or three fingers at a time because that's all that fits i'm sorry all right so next up here <laughs> this is coming to the dark side come to the youtube I will say with YouTube, if you're going to comment, you do need a Google account. If you do not have a Google account, you cannot comment. Uh, yes. YouTube requires it because Google owns YouTube. You must have a Google account. That's the one downside. You right. can watch, but you just can't comment. So. There you I'm go. Gonna... Chops is in for iPhone 12. Yeah, that's right, Chops. Help All me right. out. So I'm going to do these next. Maybe maybe it'll be our, our Bricks and Minifix Christmas present. <laughs> Get a better phone, because we and, and as a record or as a uh, as a, uh, a warning or whatever, um, we will not not be broadcasting on Christmas Day. No. So sorry. we're taking that Friday off. Though, sorry, folks. not sorry, we're not here. <laughs> but I will say, you guys should tune in with me next Friday for yeah. what breaks my brick. I'm gonna do something a little. Oh, I, I was sorry because of December. You should call it what builds my bricks. Um, the, the positive twist. Okay. We'll see. I did see that comment. Uh, yes. We'll talk about that later. All right. Anyway. I'm right, lot so number 14. I am going to go over these next five lots, and we are going to do a recap, and then we're going to get on to the second part. Sounds good. So. Mystery boxes? Ready? Yes, of course. Mystery boxes. Uh, Kurt says iPhone 12, too, but it says Galaxy is better. Yeah, but the iPhone has better quality. To each his own. Quality. To each right, his own. One for one against. No, that's two four. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, next up here, lot number 14 is the Water Dragon and Goblin King's Dragon for $70. Look at this little water one. This one's got a cool little color sticker design. But look at the bigger I'm getting to that one. And then, of course, I can't remember what her name is, but it comes with a little 
water princess too. Water elf right. princess. You got a little goblin. The Was this goblin. her? Her mini doll. Oh. Mini-dom. Yeah. Sorry. We got the goblin I king her name and oh. the goblin dragon. Honestly, this is my favorite of the dragons. Although there is a white and bluish one, which is really cool. This one is sweet. Um, I managed to figure out that you could like pose this so it's walking. Yep. And then if you want, just stand this up. Make it look like it's gonna fly. Look at that. Look at how awesome that works. Like the cut, the lime, translucent green on here, the black. This was definitely one of the best dragon builds they made. Um, just the color stands out, even though it's probably actually that's irrelevant. Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, but you get this. two awesome dragons with the figs uh, for seventy dollars. These and, the, and as a reminder, these are from the elves line that is currently um, fully retired and um, discontinued. So you cannot yeah, find I mean, these normally anymore. Look at this is awesome. Look how awesome that stands up. And get a really cool pose out of it. The jaw opens and everything. Okay. Awesome. What do we got next there, Dave? Next up here is our awesome city duo lot. Lot number 15. This is our racing bike transporter and our race plane tonight for $30. So you get, you know, land and air racers here with some cooler colors. Yep, you got two motorcycles with the trailer. Yeah, with detachable this, trailer. Yep, detachable trailer and this black printed screen here, which you they get, don't do for many bikes. And you got this awesome red, yellow, and black. It reminds plane. me of the Red Bull planes. Yeah, the Red Bull planes. And it's, I like, like, it's almost like Team Red Bull, but not. I like too <laughs> that it's the same team. So Right, that's why, that's why I paired them together. I think it's really cool. It, it's a good lot. We've had this here a couple times, and we thought, you know, why not? So Ryan went through it, paired it together, and tonight we have it here for you guys, $30. Yep. So this is the this is the pilot. He's chilling over here. And then these two are the guys for the truck. And each no. one of them has a their own helmet. The, the oh, you're right. This is for the plane. These guys are the truck. You're right. Um, but these guys each have their own helmet. There's a red and black helmet, and so they come with the two. So sweet. So you get all of that for thirty bucks. And it's cool because the bikes have like number four, number five on. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. And then number twenty-seven for the plane. All right. I wonder how many others are in that kind of like variant. Or there's a few. Yeah. Yep. All okay. right. Next up here, we have our Man Bat Attack set with the helicopter, Man Bat, Batman, and we have the Clash of Heroes set from Dawn of Justice. So we have Armored oh, Batman that here. Batman looks so dark right now. <laughs> can't, can't. Did you know his eyes glow in the dark? What's that? Did you know his eyes glow in the dark? No, I didn't. You didn't? No, his eyes glow in the dark. Yeah, he's got a glow in the dark. Oh, glow in the dark head. Yeah. So it's really cool. Like if you put some light to this, it'll glow in the dark. It's really sweet. Yeah. You got this awesome little rooftop battle here, which is clever. Clever little design for it. This actually is like a flick missile. It's just a little goofy. I think this is supposed to be more of a destruction thing. Yeah. Then you could like put a character here and watch them off. Shoot them out, which is really cool. And then this rotates and breaks off. And then there's kryptonite in here, which is really yep. cool. Little green crystal. Yeah, it's a cool little build. I I definitely really like Batman from this set. Definitely, definitely a good Batman to have. Okay, so that's lot number sixteen for thirty dollars. Oh, right? yep, Twenty five dollars. Uh, Twenty five bucks. That was close. Awesome. Next up here. I have to zoom out for this one. Next up. For you guys who need some work done in your towns or cities, we have this awesome city lot. So we have the construction lot here. So you get a logging car, six different workers, porta potty, uh, little crane truck, flatbed, and everything, which opens up, which is really cool. It opens up so you can unload all the uh, the little uh, gates, whatever else there, the guards, and then of course then the. Um, crane can pick up and carry yeah. the porta potty, which is the one that we based our custom one off of. Right. It's a little mirrored image of it. And then you get this awesome flatbed semi truck with a scoop, which is really cool. Excavator. But yeah, it doubles as an excavator and a drill. So you can detach yeah. it pretty quick. You could swap this off. The 
attach, reattach. So you got a drill, and then we got these cool little gold pieces inside. Gold pieces yeah. inside. You could drill open or smash open, however you guys want to do it. And I mean, that's really cool that you can mix and match. Plenty of tools to work with, and it just comes all together as such. And you get all these guys with it too. And I did actually go over two of these sets and actually rebuild them. Yeah, uh, the Dave was helping bed. me. Yeah, Dave was helping me find parts yesterday. I love this chainsaw too. This chainsaw is pretty cool. That's cool. They only they use it. Oh, Dave, come on, leave it there. I'm trying to show that. You talk about it. <laughs> there we go. It's cool. They only use it in one or two like city sets. Yeah. So you get that entire lot, all three with instructions. Um, the big the big truck actually has two books. So you get the one for the crane and you get one for the truck. So everything has instructions with it. And as far as I know, it is all about 99% complete. So you get six workers, four vehicles, a porta potty. Yeah, I mean, this is a good deal. 70 bucks, nice little construction crew city lot. <laughs> it's then, normally uh, about 45 or 50 just for this one. Yeah, and then, you know, if you guys are looking to pick this up, too, I do have trees here I could throw in for this lot. Yes, uh, it, it is supposed to come with the trees. Yes, yeah. I just forgot to grab them. So it does come with two small trees as well. I was so long to, to winterize, so. Yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up here, we have a prequel, sequel our, kind of ordeal. Our Lego Movie lot. Prequel, sequel ordeal. We have our Lego Movie lot here. So we have two sets from the Lego movie, as you see, with yeah, the double-decker couch, Emmett's little car. His little smart car. Yeah, Three smart sets. car. And then we have this awesome, was this the Sweet Treat one, right? Uh, Something like that. Yeah. So we have this from the Lego movie, too. So you got this little chocolate bar guy. The, um, There's the ice cream cone. I forget who's voiced by, though. It's like know. a talk show. I don't know. And then this is really cool. You get this awesome spike rolled out. And then I yeah, actually the, really like this bad police vehicle because cool, it that opens one. up. Which is a little odd how you have this. Okay. And then I thought it opened up more. You can just pull the top off. Pull the top off? Yeah, the top comes off. Top middle comes off. The middle comes off. <laughs> As David breaks it. You said top middle comes <laughs> off. Top middle. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. We'll put it back, back together. That's cool. You. <laughs> I actually don't mind that that comes off like that. But look, you literally could fit a whole squad in here. Yeah. Look at that. You can easily fit three or four guys there. It is a big, a big, and big. Funny car. enough, I actually just put three of those like robot security police guys in the in the display case with all of our other minifigs. So if they're looking to make like a, a bigger squad, I I definitely have multiples of them here. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. I actually really like the chocolate bar. Wait, That's one of my favorites. And then Lucy, awesome brick masters. Yep. Master builder, however. And what's funny is the the rear tire is actually made is all tank tread too. It's pretty cool. Although it should. It's on. It's on a forty tooth uh, Technic gear or two of them. Two of them. Might be two. Yeah, but I feel like there was supposed to be something so it doesn't rock like and that. And there is supposed to be so. a dynamite in here, so like they can drop dynamite. Oh, that's right. I was wondering. I was like, I thought there was something else to that. Thank you, Chris. But yeah, the back opens here. Nice little trunk. You could drop out dynamite. That's sweet. So you get the whole. No, because I have this. You get the whole lot for fifty bucks. Nice. Which is a lot. I mean, you get you're getting uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve figures. Two different Emmets. Twelve figures, three vehicles. Lucy, yep. Benny, two different Unikitties. One Appreciate standing it. up, one sitting. Um, you actually get another face for her too, so she's yeah. like so she got her sad face, shocked, face. sad, and happy. Happy. Got face. a little grin. Yep. Lord business, and I actually really like Emmett's smart car because you get that little radio tile in here. If you guys could see, I don't know if I can. Yeah, it's close. I really like that actually. That's one of my favorite parts. Wait, isn't this in one of the movies? Yes, all of it's in the movies, Chris. What do you mean? I did it. <laughs> All right, so I think it's time for a recap rewind. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna do a recap. Okay. Recap rewind. All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Our cord's getting flipped here.
good old technical difficulties. See, this is the other reason why I need an iPhone 12 instead. I don't have to worry about all these cords. All these cords we got to drag over the floor in this whole cart just to get get you guys some some video here. Yeah. No, I get it. It's a lot. I get it. We do a lot for you guys at home. <laughs> all right. Is the oh, we got a question from Liam. So is the Lego Movie Chase motorcycle complete? Uh, as far as we know, it was pretty complete. Not it is not 100%. No? What was it? Uh, I think one of the helmets is swapped. It's a gray helmet instead of a black helmet. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, we're missing Dynamite. Dynamite, we can get you. It's small stuff. Yeah. But. Dynamite, you can find it three seconds. Literally could find those parts of my Thank you, Chops. Chops is going iPhone 12 as well. Thank you, Chops. All right. So we're going to do a recap. One yep, he's just throwing it out there again. 18, I believe it was. And if you guys are ready, we're going to do it. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? All right. Cool. We're First gonna go up. Kind of quick. Lot number one, the ski resort here for $75. Okay. Lot number two is our awesome Christmas Star Wars lot for $55. Next up from Lego Movie 2, we have the Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa for $60. Good job. You got it that time. <laughs> Try it again. Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Next up from Friends, lot number four is the Lighthouse Rescue Center for $45. Okay. Lot number five is our awesome Bender Box, as you saw, being opened and closed. You could claim it tonight. Pick your color and then fill your bag with whatever you want, just like this. And all this will fit in to this box here. And you can fit any of you can pick any of what color you see. Yes, we have four different colors of it. We've got we do not have the purple anymore, uh, but we do have the the dark charcoal gray. We've got uh, the lime light green, uh, orange, and blue. It's like awesome. a steel blue. It's almost like your color your shirt color blue. Lot number five was claimed. Yep. Or, six. No, lot number six was claimed. Oops. Lot number seven is our awesome Minecraft set here, which is our uh, snow hideout, snow hideout yep, for, for thirty dollars. Thank you, Chris, for building this. Hundred percent complete too. Next up, ninety nine percent. I think it's missing one. Seal. Piece. No, I found the least. No, oh, found it. awesome. I had it. Easy. All right. Shh. Lot number eight is our Hogwarts Express for sixty five dollars. Lot number nine from the Hobbit. Unexpected journey is our Merkwood poly bag and barrel escape set here for hundred and twenty dollars. Both brand new. Brand new. Next lot up, lot number ten is our Pteranodon capture set from Jurassic World for twenty bucks. Lot number eleven is our custom Mandalorian lot here with uh, four different Mandalorians: uh, IG eleven slash eighty eight and the child. Ooh. They sold like what two of them today already? Uh I sold the set and a single one. All right. Then Next we've up got... here from Lego Hero Factory is Stormer's Freeze Machine. Which is awesome. For know. only 15 bucks. Next up, lot number 13, which, which was, was claimed. Lot number 14, this awesome elves duo pack. So we have the Goblin King's Dragon and the Water Dragon. So you got a good way to have a little dragon face off. And here. it is actually a good and bad. So that's what's really cool about yep, that, too. Right. Good and evil. Evil. <laughs> Next up, lot number 15 is our city duo pack. So we have our racing bikes and our race plane oh, here, here for, I believe, $30. $30. Yeah, this is an issue here. Yep. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> Next up, lot number 16 is our DC superheroes pack. The Man Bad Attack and the Clash of Heroes set. Lot number 17 from Lego City is our construction lot for $70. And last but definitely not least for this round, lot number 18, our Lego Movie 1 and 2 lot for $50. 50, bucks. 50 smackers. All right. What about like that? Chris Noventry is claiming lot number eight for 65. Lot number eight. I believe that was the train. Hogwarts Express. Hogwarts is gone. Hogwarts nice. is gone. Chris, Thank you. We've got Chris's second one for the night. Okay. Thank you, Chris. As we walk over here, I'm going to 
this one's spreading. Yes, we still have a Tana 4 still available. We've got, uh, if you guys are into the um, Super Mario sets, we do have uh, four of the starter packs left, as well as some of the other ones, so we can have those uh, going for you. We even have these little holiday Christmas brick heads. If you guys were wanting to get some other little Christmas uh, presents. This? And the new Dominus Rex set, yep. So we definitely have some good sets available. There's some Minecraft and everything else over there, too. And it actually rocks back and forth, which is so awesome. Sorry. <laughs> Camera. All right. We're going to swing right. around this way. Round two. Fight. Round two. For our awesome lots, we have lot number 19. This awesome Technic set, the Formula Off Racer. Off Rotor. What? what? Dave, can't, Dave, Dave can't. I can read, read, but when I was walking up, I got a glare, so it looked like Racer. Ooh, Jeremy, Jeremy claims lot number 18. That's the Lego Movie lot. Sweet, congrats. So tonight here, we have this awesome Technic Off Rotor for. Do -do 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 -do. Hold on, Sarah's doing stuff over here. $50, brand new in box. And this is an older set too. Oh, it's a two in one as well. Yep. So look at that. It's a little worn on the box, but. A little hot rod. Look at that in the back. That's hot rod nice. action there. Yep, look at that. Okay, next up, lot number 20. Now this is one of those sets I told you that we weren't sure if it was gonna make it here or not. This here is our Skull Island oh, set. Come on, focus. This is an older Pirates line, as you can see with the bigger figures here. But look at that chrome sword. These are these are the Jack Stone size figures. Okay, for those who know Jack Stone, and for those who don't, Lego has made figures as such scale. Which yeah, they're is really they're cool. They're about twice the size of a regular minifig. Yeah, give or take. If only Lego would continue doing some stuff. I like the such. faces though. Yeah, definitely some, some cool character. details. That chrome sword is awesome. It's like brand new. It's out of this pirate sail, man. It's yeah, this is a good sail for a boat. And, and this this, comes... was, this was an old juniors line. Yeah, it's an old juniors oh, line. And I was before... gonna say it. See, it's funny because this is this is a four plus, which is before juniors, but then they came out with juniors, and now it's back to four plus. Right. How right. weird is that? And it's weird because this <laughs> is all in blue, but now the new style is in like red and it's white. All red. Yep. Right. Red, white, and blue. And yellow. No. And yellow. This is really cool. This awesome spring loader. So it looks like a cannon in this awesome little um, containment unit, which we actually have an extra one here in the shop mm -hmm. that I didn't even know existed. I was like, what is this piece? I've never seen it before. So that is really cool to have here. And I could also say, if you guys are interested, there's a couple more. Okay. Next up here, lot number 21. Hold on a second. <laughs> Okay. All right. We gotta move back. I have to move back. Lot number 21 is our cargo train. Everybody's been asking us about trains, trains, trains. We had actually three trains planned for tonight, but one of them sold before we can get it on here. Um, but this is our uh, set number 60052 cargo train. It is 100% complete. Uh, Becca and I actually went through and rebuilt all of it. It does come with all of its track. Um, we have the entire set, of course, uh, with working controller or everything else. You know, it all works. Um, it does need new batteries. I will tell you that. And it does um, come with bull. It does have the bull. And uh, it does only have two of the, I think, six instruction books. That was the only downside why we didn't certify it. But everything else is here. That's awesome, though. I mean, this is a really cool set. We've had this here like four times, I think. Yeah, usually built. It's, no, we've had, it, we've had it at least three times built. Yeah, and then a couple times. Because uh, the last yeah. time it was here, I sold it like right away. Like, yeah, they don't last even, long. We didn't even get to keep it long enough for me to talk about it with other people. Yeah, like, yeah, brand, <laughs> brand, <laughs> brand new. This train is worth a little over three hundred bucks. Yeah, this is a really good one. The way this rocks back and forth and that slow control and station. Yep, right, it's a, it's a full, full gantry, gantry crane, so you can pick things up and load it over here. Um, it does come with up oh, there. It is wheelbarrow comes, comes with a nice little working forklift, so you can you know. Grab all your stuff. Um, there's a couple different pallets here that you can mix around and rearrange however you want. Oh, that's cool. You can hide stuff in the, in the tanker here. Yep. You can actually put stuff in the tanker. Oh, that's um, cool. You should put a bunch of black studs in there. That'd be cool. 
Yeah, right. Like break it open, a bunch of black studs everywhere. So we have the full cargo train for two hundred thirty dollars if you just claim lot number twenty one. We got the box, two out of what six instruction books. Two out of six. A bunch of track. That that's an awesome deal. If you guys are looking for a cool cargo train to deliver stuff to your town and And it is a very strong engine in there. So if you want to throw anything yeah. else on there behind it, yeah, you can. It's really cool. I have seen that just the just the engine sell for over two hundred bucks. What? Yeah. It's crazy how much these well power functions and normal power functions is going is I think pretty much gone at the end of this year. Um, so a lot of it's getting harder and harder to find, so they're paying more for it. Okay. Look it up. Look it up I'm telling oh, you. All right. <laughs> next, up. next. Yeah. next up. All right, lot number twenty two. Okay. Ryan, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time because I'm gonna get a little carried away. Oh <sighs> okay. Please, David. Come, Come on, on, I did it ahead of time. Come on. Fine. Just one time. Fine. Probably two times, but still. Next up, <laughs> next up here, this is one of my favorite DC superhero sets. And we have this here tonight for you guys. Lot number 22. This is our Superman and Crypto team up. This is the first ever set with Crypto the Super Dog. If you guys don't know who Crypto the Super Dog is, you're missing out. That mm -hmm. old TV show and everything. It's an awesome Labrador with... Anti-kryptonite powers and stuff like that. Superman, and for the first ever <laughs> reveal of Lobo, the multiverse bounty hunter. Chris, do you know his catchphrase? No. No? Yeah, well, then you are not the main man then. <laughs> and this is really cool. And for you guys who don't know, this is a self-flying bike for the set. So it acts as another mini fake. That's what a lot of people don't think. This actually acts as another mini fake because it's actually a character in the comics. Is David nerding out now? Just a little bit. We gave right. them a warning. <laughs> so if you want that set, uh, it's only 15 bucks right now. Oh, it tonight. I also what? have to say that getting this set, this is part one of two sets. If you get this set, there is a Lex Mech set that came out, and this goes on to the back of it, which is really cool. Okay. Next up. The Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. You can talk about this because if I talk about this, it's going to get too long. Okay. Um, it's a Marvel set. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this, of course, is Dr. Strange's um, main house. And, of course, they have it set up on a corner um, with uh, on Bleecker Street here, which I think was st was Bleecker Street still Spider-Man's? Or is that actually where the Sanctum well, is supposed to be? This is you're traveling to two different locations in the city. It is both. Okay. So there's actual there's a sticker in the set that shows like a window through another area. But this is from the main scene where uh, Iron Man and Doctor Strange and all them actually get to see um, the children of Thanos for the first time fight them in uh in it was at the beginning of Infinity War. Um yeah, going for the time stone of course, which no, it was Mr. Doctor Strange has. Ooh. Um so you've got the whole thing of course, you got a cold city in over here. You've got Ebony Maw up here chilling out in a little fight with Iron Man. Um, but it's a nice, awesome set. Um, and, of course, then you do get the time stones with it as well. So if you're trying to collect all six stones, you get the one for here. So that's about Funny it. Funny enough, I sold Thanos with all six today. So Oh, he's gone. Yay! All right. So that's the Sanctum Sanctum, Sanctum Show done. And that is brand new. Brand new in box for $160. Yes. Scream is a little far. Sorry. <laughs> Next up, as part of our older Pirates line, as we showed off with Skull Island, this here, lot number 24, is our Catapult Raft and our Captain Crags, Crags. Pirate Boat. Uh, Crag? Yep. Really? Yeah. It's weird. Technically, it's, it's really hard to see right now because it's kind of sideways, but there, it's got a, the same kind of sail as the other one did. It's the same Jack Stone style characters. <laughs> Liam says it's got Squidward. Yes, good old Squidward. He's talking about the... Uh, Ebony Maw, Sigur. It was a line from Iron Man. Tony Stark. Um, <laughs> uh, so you get you. these these other two sets here. Uh, for 40 bucks. comes with both instructions and the two figs that come with it. Um, again, this is a juniors, old juniors set line um, from Pirates. It is actually part of the Pirates line. So it even has the original flag. All right, Dave. What's up for lot number 25 here? Lot number 25 is another one I've my favorites. Oh, we got okay, got it. What? Ooh. Nothing, nothing. Nice. Nothing. 
All right. Next up. Next up, lot number 25 from DC Universe is the Dark Side Invasion. As you guys know, I talked about this one last week. This is the Justice League Javelin set. The first time this ever has been built and out for LEGO and DC. It's an older set, of course. I can tell you that this set is only missing one piece, which is the folded up wings for Hawkman here. First time Hawkman has ever been out for DC was in this set, along with this awesome green arrow. And the only dark side right now for Lego minifigs. And tonight we have this here. Not anymore. Claim <laughs> Liam claims it already. Liam is picking it up. Nice. Congrats to you, Liam. Again, if you watched me last week, you talked, you know I talked about this, and this is one of my favorite. It is, it is a really I cool ship. This. I like it. And what's cool, now it's ready to fly off. And you get all the instruction books. Mm -hmm. So it's only missing one piece. I found the other pieces that were missing from Dark Side's thing. And it's two other stickers are missing too. But they don't really I don't really count stickers as pieces. So all right. Next well, up the next here. one up, I, I, I couldn't help but get by getting a picture since some people already know what it is. Oh, no. um, so the next one up is lot number 26. This is the Assembly Square Expert Creator Set. Ooh. Completely still sealed inside. It is an open box. Um, is it, Liam's asking, is the Javelin complete? The Javelin is complete. I know that for a fact. There should not be a single thing in there. And matter of fact, just, just to give you a little bit of reassurance... I can't go that far. Okay. Even the super ah! jump is in here. <laughs> he, even, just, he just shot that at me. Even the super jump so is you know. in here. Not anymore. All right. So back to this. We have our assembly square set here. Um, this one just came in last week. Uh, what, three days ago? Um, we haven't even had it on the floor yet. Uh, but So, of course, this is one of those things that we're letting you guys get a, get a thing on first. Um, so this one is completely still sealed inside this box. Um, instructions and decals included, um, and of course comes with the nice little box. So nice. it's one of the one of the bigger sets here, especially at over four thousand pieces. Um, usually these sets will be like 350, 400 bucks. Um, so it does utilize some of the uh, nice little figures out here. You get another baby figures with it, of course. Um, you've got a little pretzel shop. You've got the condos, the apartments. Of course, you got the little um, singer over here. This is a really good set. It's, and it's 10th it's anniversary really set. set. So that's always a good, cool, awesome little bonus. Um, so yeah, so this is completely sealed, certified, ready to go. Whoever is looking for another modular set, make sure you tell your friends and stuff right now. All right. Because they only have the next, I don't know, 20 minutes or so to claim it and make it theirs. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we got two more lots left before we get to our mystery boxes. So after I do these two lots... I'm going to do a recap, and we're going to get right to the mystery box. Mystery box is first. Are you sure? Yeah, yes. mystery box is first. All right. going to get time to think about it. Is it kind of about it? Right, it could be like Jeopardy. All right, lot number 27 is our street vendor lot that Dave actually put together. So we have this awesome food cart, flower cart, little ice cream. Machine. Yeah, ice cream machine, server, etc. A little street cleaner, cool little roadster. You got a little kid on a skateboard. White wheels, which is kind of rare. Yep. And then you get five other kids or adults or Figures. customers. And awesome little blue bike here for $35. So I think this is a really good one, especially if you guys are getting this awesome assembly square. You got some things to go right outside yep, of it. Yep, this is a nice little add-on pick to go right outside of the front of the square. Um, and as Dave was saying, there's a nice little floral cart, a little hot dog cart with the ketchup and mustard, of course. Um, but then you've got the nice little street cleaner cart where he's picking up all the trash that everybody's making on the street um, to make sure that your little Lego town is nice and clean. So we got our street vendor lot here for 35 bucks if you claim lot number 27. All right, Dave. What's going on here with lot number 28? Next up here, lot number 28. This is our final Pirates one. This one was really cool to see. Um, it's the second it's time we get to see this awesome boat hull in a different color. This here is our Captain Redbird's pirate ship. Redbeard. I'm going to stick to Redbird. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's, have, Dave's getting some dyslexic 
it's been a long night. day for you, hasn't it's it? It's been a long week, okay? I helped my brother <laughs> yeah, move. I know, I know. Like, yeah, congratulations to Josh. Like, way to get a new house. I'm beat. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Good thing you got the weekend to rest up. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> so we have Kevin Redbeard's pirate ship, of course. Redbeard. We have four figures here coming in at you. You got Redbeard and a bunch of others and here. And I believe this is one of two sets that this little cream green colored bird comes in. Yeah, it's, it's a very I actually don't think I've ever seen. We have green. one here. It's not in sand. Our animal display. For people who are asking, it is not. It looks on here on the camera that it looks like it's sand green. It is not sand green. It no. is a little more darker, a little darker, and a little more yellow than a sand green. I wish it's it like would, a mint. Yeah, it looks like mint. It's like, a, ice cream. it's like a dark mint. Yeah, it looks like mint ice cream to me. It doesn't match. It's pretty close. It's yeah. It's, <laughs> but like I said, it's sorry, the, the white random. balance on here. Yeah. So <laughs> this thing can. But it's a nice actually, big big hole. Yeah, big hole. This actually floats in water. There's no holes or anything on the bottom. Although you probably it does. Water, it does. It can separate. Yeah. If you want to split it up, water probably could seep in, uh, which isn't that big of a deal. And I mean, come on, look at this. Um, but it, it is a big ship. Can you attach Dave, will you leave it down here so I can show I can't show yes. the lights? There's actually an attachment part where you can attach like a little motor or buoy or something on the bottom to help it float. Yes, there was a limited edition version of this that was motorized. I yep. don't know how I have to look it up, but I did look I did find that while I was trying to make everything up set up for tonight. But it is yeah. a, there is a motorized version. Yeah, but the father and son came back. They're only missing a couple pieces, including this awesome printed map here. Yep. Well, <laughs> anybody that's interested in pirates, this is a nice big ship, and of course, you don't even have to use the figures, honestly. But a regular um, non-juniors Lego ship this size, you're talking 180, 250 bucks. Oh, hey, look! Haha, -ha, yep. that's funny. I was asking you about this part the other day, and oh. I have like three of them. Oh, yeah. Ha! That's funny. That's there, that's what they're yeah. on right there. Look at that. And of course, did you get another one of the little big giant yeah, in black? Too. And then plank. another thing, too, is yeah, it has this plank. awesome winch here that ratchets and it rolls down, and you can yep, pinch so, it right here. So then you can lift, things, lift up all the uh, grates and stuff from underneath. Yeah, you can lift up the grates. There's actually supposed to be one for the barrel, but I think you're able to just swap it to make it work. And then... Oh, it's kind of like the Mandalorian ship oh. that he was on. Yeah. Something like that. Sorry. All right, so that's Captain Redbeard's pirate ship for 60 bucks if you want. Just claim lot number 28. Next up, da, da, da. It's, it's mystery box time. Da. Are you guys ready? We need a theme song. No. Yep. Where's Liam? Right? Liam, <laughs> Liam, shout out to Liam in the comments. We did a mystery box jingle. Did you? What? Did I what? He said we mystery? need. Never mind. I said we okay. need. Never mind. What? All right. So first up, we've got our green box. I think I did the thing of which I shouldn't have done. The, no, no. The green box tonight is going for $18. 18 bucks tonight? Not bad. So lot number 29, our first mystery box here is $18. So Dave, uh, let them, why don't we tell the uh, audience what? how do the mystery boxes work? Mystery boxes work by you claiming them automatically first before you see what's in the box. Same. We don't show you unless you claim it first. So if you want to know what's in there, you got to claim it. You gotta do it. Then you're do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. All right. So green box is eighteen bucks, and of course, last time uh, for the green box we had a what two hundred and twenty dollar set, set that hiding in here. Nobody claimed. No, it was two hundred and fifty dollars. We had it thirty dollars. Yes, Christopher. Uh, Lou is asking about clues tonight. No. Not on this one. No, there's we only Not we're only gonna do it on one, which is gonna be our most expensive one of the night. All right, fair. So no hints on anything no under... No hints on this one. Certain amounts. But hints on one of the other two. Yep. This is going to be, I think, the next one. Next up. So next brings us up to our yellow mystery box. Lot number 30. This one was a little bit tricky, but we figured we could do this. So we have this awesome lot here for $100. This one we'll do hints for. Only, well, one hint. Only if somebody claims it so they can see what's inside. Well, how are they? Gonna, how are they? I don't know. I'm setting them up. Leave me alone. <laughs> I was like, how do you think I'm gonna hint to they already know what I'm it is? I'm setting them up. <laughs> Dave fails. So we have this here, mystery box number two. 
Lot number 30. All right. For $100. So, hit number one. We're going to go with theme. Are you sure you want to do theme? I think if we do theme, it's going to be like, I know it. No, but then they're going to. Okay. I'll, I'll do, do you one better. It's related to a recent show that appeared last week. And today. And today, technically. Okay, fair. Cool. That's all I'm going to say. It's related to a show. We got it for 100 bucks. The current show. It's not like a rerun. It's current show. Okay. Next up, mystery box number three for $20. This is lot number 31, our mystery box number three for $20. This one is actually a favorite of yours, right? I love these sets, yes. Yeah? It's one of my favorites. Yeah. So if you know me, you probably know what it is. Another clue. It's the only clue. It's, a, it's the only clue they're going to the get. It's the only clue. They got to know us it's, in order it's, to know what's here. Yep. So if you guys come in and frequent our store, then you may have an idea of what's in this red box. It's something that I like. Oh, no. Don't. No. Hold on. We got to look away. It. Sarah, Sarah's looking at it. Yes. Yes. This, this is Orion. Yes. <laughs> like, I don't lie. I haven't lied to anybody. All right. So if you guys want to see what's in here, you got to claim it. So I got, claim lot number 29, 30, or 31. 29 for $30? No, 29 nope. for no, 18. No, no, no. I was going to go 29. Green mystery box for 18. And then Yellow for 100. for 100, which is related to an episode that was on last week. Things. <laughs> yep. TV show. And then 15? And lot number 31 in the red box is only 20 bucks. All right. So. Uh, whoa. Someone's taking a gamble. Um, Liam guesses Razor Crest, but then John Ryan Connell is claiming lot number 30, the yellow box, for a hundred bucks. So, thank you, John. John Ryan, if you go by your middle name as well, Rock on Ryan's. Um, you get to be the winner. I open No, Dave can do it. That's how we always do it. Fine. All right. But next you, time you're are you doing ready to cords, see what's in here? Right By the way, shout out to John. He was one of the people joining me tonight. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Here we go. Open it up. What's in that box? So you get this awesome Django Fett duo. So you get a buildable Django Fett. It's 100% complete. And the first ever Django Fett minifig here. Dave, why don't you tell him how much is that little minifigure? This minifig here is worth 100 so basically, you got used. the minifig. Used, I used can say, bucks, yeah. 100 bucks. And he's in good condition. And he's in good condition with the original head that's yep. this weird molding on it. Yep, this is face print. And then, of course, then you have the Jingle Fett figure now, which I believe retails over 35 bucks. Yep. And, uh, you know, tonight we have a little bit lower. And actually might be price. higher now. I don't know, because, I mean, the price I put on it was kind of slim. But, look, it even has a missile for the back. Look at it. Boom! <laughs> Hey, at least the original Kenner uh, figure didn't even have that. <laughs> uh, it's cool because this comes off, and then you can yep. have it hover around. All right. So thank you, John. You got yourself some Jingle Fets. Uh, next, we have Jason Strand uh, claiming lot number 31, the Red Box. The Red Box. I think I'm going to open up the Red Box. You want to do it? You I think I'm going to open up the Red Box. All right. <laughs> Drum roll, please. For the red box, you have won a brand new McLaren. You can't talk it home for real. <laughs> this is a Speed Champion set uh, from, I believe, three years ago, if I remember correctly. Um, so you do get the entire set, drag it, the car, and instructions, and everything. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. Sir. And actually, you know what? I will say this. Wait, what is it? Something got messed up here. I will say also, to Jason, that this is actually a mistake on the price. Oh, you had the mistake on the price. Uh, that's okay, though. I'll still, I'll still accept it. Mr. Box is only 20 bucks. Oh, we can give him some 30. <laughs> so Thank you, you got it for 20 tip. bucks. Thank you for the tip. $20. <laughs> so we only have one mystery box left, which is the green one. Uh, green is mystery box is $18. $18. And I will say... I'm going to give a little hint on this since the other two are gone. Everyone can use this. Okay. 
That's all I'm gonna say. It's everyone can everyone can always use this. I honestly don't know what you put in this box. So. <laughs> all right. Are we ready for one last recap? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So while we're thinking about if anybody's gonna pick up the uh, green box, for here, why don't we leave these like sideways over there so we know that green's left? Okay. How about we just put them on? We're gonna go through. That's the fun uh, thing. I'm gonna take a peek. Am I gonna have to? Yeah, I gotta spend it. Okay, I'm going under. And thank you, Sarah, for all of our cord management needs tonight. Wow. I distracted her. She got she got put on camera. Yeah, you pulled the cord and the thing went out. All right, can you guys hear us? Sorry, we had a uh, microphone issue. Microphone it got unplugged. Issue? Yes, it got it got temporarily unplugged. I'm hoping it still works. If you guys can, if you guys can hear us, please let us know real quick because our our cording apparently came unplugged and Sorry. it got weird. So, uh, we'll chat and see you soon. Kurt says, <laughs> Lou says, is it money? Yes, everybody can use money, but it's not money. Um, Dave, <laughs> let's see here, where did it go? Uh, Kurt's asking, Dave, is it worth it? He's asking about the box. Oh, the green, the box. green box. It's a yeah, I don't box. know if you know what's in the green box. I just took a peek. Okay. It, it's a good box. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure somebody could use it. It's, it's definitely suitable for different things. You could experiment with it or just have fun. It's a good box. Yeah. All right, and thank you guys for letting us know that you can hear us. We were worried that it, because I know if the camera comes unplugged, it's pretty much over. So, um, all right, we're going to go kind of quick on this. Uh, once I get reset here, all right. How about you run this half? I'll give you the other half. Number, not a problem. Number one is our ski resort for $75 certified and sealed. Number two is our Star Wars and holiday Christmas figures, including Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Number three is our Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa from Lego Movie 2. Uh, brand new. Next up, we have our do, 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 Lighthouse Rescue Center certified uh, sealed bags for 45 Lot number five is our Bander Boxes, which surprisingly haven't sold at all last night. The last time we sold like four or five of them. By the way, I still have these guys. <laughs> the boxing buildings we had. <laughs> Um, so it's the Bander box and a large bag of bulk bricks, which is normally eighty dollars. Um, and then the the uh, Bander box is thirty, so you're looking at one hundred and eleven dollars with forty dollars off tonight. Um, lot number six was sold. Lot number seven is the snow hideout from Minecraft. Okay. Uh, lot number eight is the Hogwarts Express, which was sold. Lot number nine is the Mirkwood Elf Guard and Feral Escape sets, brand new for 120. That's lot number nine. Lot number 10 is the Tyrannodon Capture set from Dress World for only 20 bucks. Lot number 11 is our Mandalorian lot, including IG 11 slash 88 Baby Yoda and the, I believe it was the Crimson Dawn uh, Mandalorian. Death Watch. Death Watch. Uh, Death Watch Crimson Dawn. Yeah, Death Watch Crimson Dawn, yeah. Um, from uh, Clone Wars. So. Then 75 bucks for the lot. Lot number 12 is the Stormer Freeze Machine for $15. Still available. Lot number 13 was sold. Lot number 14 is the Water Dragon and Goblin King Dragon for $70 from the Elves set. Ah, he's trying to eat me. Uh, next up is the Racing Bike Transporter and Race Plane sets for $30. You get three figs, four vehicles, and of course, you have the podium with the trophy. Lot number 16, we've got our Man Bad Attack and Clash of the Heroes sets, both Batman, um, with glow in the dark eyes, apparently. We'll have to test it out later, maybe, uh, for 25 bucks. Next up, we've got our entire huge construction lot. Uh, lot number 17 for $70 comes with six figures. Uh, was it four vehicles, a porta potty, and some gold in them rocks? Uh, well, it looks like, oh, Bingus is here. What's up, Bingus? Mr. Bingus. Uh, Bingus is claiming lot number 12. 
Lot number 12 for $15. Thank you, Bingus. Next up was lot number uh, 18, which is the Lego movie lot, and that sold. So thank you. All right, and that's going to bring us to the second half. Another reason we need that iPhone 12, guys. Make sure you use the hashtag iPhone 12. And no, this is not a paid sponsorship from Apple or any of that jazz. They're not going to give me one. Maybe I should talk to them. Maybe they'll donate me one. Um, all right, Dave, you going to go over these? All right, next up here, we have the off Formula Off-Roader for $60, lot 50, number 19. $50. The glare looks like 60 okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> next up, lot number 20 here is our Skull Island set for $35. Lot number 21 is our cargo train set, only missing four booklets. Yep. Lot number 22 is claimed. Thank you. Awesome. Lot number 23 is the Sanctum Sanctorum and Peter Parker's apartment set here for $160. Yep, brand new. Brand new. Next up, lot number 24 to go with the Pirates theme is the Catapult Raft and Captain Craig's Pirate Boat. Yep, for 40 nice. bucks. Next up, a personal favorite of mine is the Dark Side Invasion. Was this one sold? Uh, um, yes, that was claimed. It was claimed. Oh, this was claimed by Liam, right? Yep. Yes. Slacker. Christopher. Never mind. Next up, the awesome Assembly Square modular set from Lego Creator. Lot number 26. 26. Yep. For $320. Yeah. Dollars. Dollars. And if you like that, you'll love this. Lot number 27. This is our assembly, nope, street <laughs> vendor lot that I created here. So you get a nice little food cart, hot dogs, flower cart, clean air, nice little um, umbrella for a shady spot to eat. And, and you know what? Dessert. I'm, I'm going to throw some other. If you buy the assembly square, lot number 26, I'll give you lot number 27 for 20 bucks. So if you buy this, you get this one for 20 bucks. I was going to say for 30 <laughs> Hey, we got to make some money here, man. Come on. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Fair. <laughs> you know we don't make money off of box sets that much. All right. Lot number Those 28 box sets. is the Captain Redbeard's pirate ship for $60. Which, by the way, I also got to show that these flaps work. Nice. So you can hide your little cannons away. Yeah, Hi, honestly, this really would be a good boat to use for regular pirate minifigs. Like, this is a solid boat to use. And it's cool because it's got this, like, skull at the front. A brick Boys. built. Yeah, it's a one piece skull, too. It's not brick built. It's not like bricks. Huh. All right. So, this just came through that Mr. Kurt is claiming the green box. Are you ready? For $18. Hold on. Kurt, we're, we're out of focus Kurt. right now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Bear with us. Oh, there you go. Are you ready, Mr. Kurt? Mr. Welker? Mr. CW? Here it is. Your awesome base plate lot with stands. Risers, yep. Ta -da. Look at that. Purple, blue, orange, translucent pink. You get all this for 18 bucks. You got six plates, right? And then I think it was a three of each color for the risers, right? Yes, it was. Nice. I think we might, I think we might update it to four just so it's easy. And even honestly, fours. honestly, Kurt, Kurt, for you, buddy, since you claim this, we'll let you pick the colors you want. Okay? No, no, no. no. It's this lot. Oh, it has yes, to be this it's lot? This lot, yes. Oh, well. Congrats either way. So. <laughs> but yes, a lot of I was going to say for there. at least these, but that's fine too. Yep. So all mystery boxes have been claimed tonight. Thank you very much. Yay! Nice. I am really happy that that all worked. <laughs> One of them we were a little iffy about. So, hey, it's all good. Congrats to you guys. Thank you, you very doing? much. He's being Eric. a goof. He's being weird. <laughs> He's being a goof. I don't know what he's <laughs> doing. I'm mad yeah. it rotated the way it did. Uh huh. All right. All right, there's enough of that. All right, we're going to no, put you guys on a thing here. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, guys. So Thank you for joining us again for our second to last Cyber Fun Day of the year. Yeah, that's right. Well, ooh. Yep. No. What do you mean, no? We're not doing Christmas. We won't be here for New Year's Eve. Is it New Year's Eve or New Year's Which Day? Which is why oh. I said second to last. Hold on. Because we'll be... Oh, no, it's New Year's Day. Oh. 
No, no, we'll still have, we'll still have it New Year's Eve. Okay. Yeah, or, yeah, we'll be here New Year's Day. We will be here New Year's Day. Again, this is our second to last Cyber Fun Day. Yes. Even though we will be here New Year's Day, um, technically it's a brand new year. So second to last Cyber Fun Day of the year. We will not be here for Christmas, of course. So we're going to be at home with our family safely, of course. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for joining me tonight on What Breaks My Bricks or What Builds My Bricks with Darren, who joined me from the awesome Universal Lug Group we have. And we had a good time there. I really appreciate that. Shout out to you, bud. I have a very Such positive a thing I'm going to do for next week because it's going to be the final episode of the year, which is like a mid-season finale kind of ordeal. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really happy to do that. It's going to be nice, but it's going to be a little short. But it's going to be also more personal. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to try to take care of something real quick here. So hey, hopefully, better. there we go. Yay! Hopefully, you guys have a good year. Sorry about that, guys. Good there was Christmas. there was a lot of crazy um, blue stay schmutz on the on the camera here. It was getting a little uh, a little crazy. <laughs> um, do we have any? Do you have uh, all colors for the minifigure brick containers? We do have all four colors. You want to show them the the bricks down there, Chris? The bricks. Our mini blocks. No, just one of each. One of each. That's fine. Just bring them all up here. One of each. So, Kurt's asking about our little mini blocks that we just got in. Um, the little storage containers. The tiny stackers. Yeah, let me see what. Um, so they do have a little separation point, so you can open them up. It is one full compartment that goes in there. Um, it is a solid bottom, so unfortunately, I don't think you could stack these up. Um, but we do have them on all four colors: red, green, blue, and yellow. We only have about half of them left. Um, we started out with I think forty. 16, 24, 30, 40. We was 40. I think it was 40. Um, but we have about 16 left. And so these are $4 some. a piece. So we have these. Um, we only have a few of one of each color left. And yes, Kurt, we, we definitely have these. So if you are interested in getting another few or one of each for you and the kids, we got them. Here you go. Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, what else? Stuckers. We still have a lot of stuff, like I said earlier today. Um, we have our website is working again, uh, our e-store. Um, we are trying to get everything reconnected with Facebook and Instagram again. It takes a little bit longer for them um, to verify that we actually you know, are a store that sells stuff, um, which is really stupid, but what are you going to do? Um, so we are going to have that stuff available for you guys. I have been working all day today and yesterday and the day before and the day before to get it all working again. Oh, I even had I even had to call the POS the the um, POS system the system yeah the POS system company. POS system? Um, no, I'm gonna stick to the POS and I'm gonna the, keep the it checkout. To that. We we call the checkout people and keep it verify that. that there actually was a little bug that happened. Um, unfortunately, it erased almost everything on our our website. Um, so we're having to put everything back that in. That was an manually. adult reference. Um, <laughs> you're, you're off the you're off you're out here. I'm taking you off the thing now. Um, so <laughs> you're like right underneath the little cord here. Um, maybe I'll just put this up here. I don't know why it's in front of us. It normally should be up here. We're doing. There you this. go. We're just gonna put it up there. Maybe it'll still pull the audio. Um, so we uh, we we do have the web store going up. It should be all good. And uh, hopefully throughout the day tomorrow, I'll get the rest of the certified sets added. Um, all of those new unbox sets back there are gonna be added soon. Um, I will warn you, though, we have found out that a lot of them are retiring on New Year's Eve. So we are going to have to take them off the floor for a few months. Yep, that's what so we got. So if you don't get them before the end of the year, they could be gone. Lou is asking, has Dave been drinking tonight? I don't know what he does no. in the break area. No. But I'm hoping not. First off, I'm here working. <laughs> that's irresponsible. Second off, that's not the kind of person I am. So no, uh, Lewis, this is just how I am on a daily. So Lou is secretly hoping you say yes, so that I have to fire you. No, no what? <laughs> Lou doesn't want you to fire me. That makes no sense. <laughs> or maybe he does. No, um, <laughs> yeah, we like to have fun. Um, let's see. Dave's got his show next week. We'll be we will be live again next week. Uh, for what breaks my bricks, or no, you'll be live for what breaks my bricks. We'll be live for Cyber Fun Day, um, and 
I'm still really working on getting an iPhone 12, folks. Because then there will be no, there'll be some camera stabilization, and we won't have to worry about all these crazy wires and computers and all the other stuff that's under underneath this that you guys Just can't see. Handheld. Um, and we even at one point we had we had my son with ring lights and stuff trying to light everything for it. It it's was like a whole factory. camera news crew. Yeah, I really need, I, I, you know, and that's what's funny. Even Fox was here with only three people. <laughs> you know, WGN I think had four, but you know, yeah. it's kind of what we're running here. We have four people here. Just throw a big camera on his shoulders with a backpack and have a. <laughs> You know, whatever here, we'll be fine. He can't even hold stuff in his hands. We just need somebody to. Yeah. We just need someone to sponsor us with a, a good camera for another fifty thousand dollars. It's fine. It's <laughs> <laughs> a joke. So even though they do have they do have streaming backpacks for twenty five hundred. Literal joke. <laughs> so guys, maybe we should donate. Maybe we should donate a. Uh, I feel a little best, donation button here for the iPhone bet, twelve. Your best bet. <laughs> your best bet is to just get a GoPro. We thought about that too. Fifty. 70 bucks, but get a GoPro, snap it on your hand. Yes, but then the GoPro has to be attached to a phone to relay to here, and I don't know if it will work on stream Eric. Then I might have to switch services again, and then that's going to... Yeah, no, I don't have time for that. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We like using stream Eric. It's fun. Um, time you <laughs> <laughs> Lou's like, I need a job. <laughs> I can have you interviewed. I can have you interviewed, Lou. <laughs> Um, no <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it is raining outside, so make sure if you guys are out somewhere or, get, or planning on yeah. traveling tonight and this weekend. Did you weekend, hear that? Did um, you hear that? It's bricking raining in December. Make sure that, it, well, <laughs> anyway, make sure that you guys are driving out safe. Make sure you guys are being careful. Um, I heard that there's possible white stuff coming this weekend, so make sure you guys are okay with Powered that. sugar? <laughs> yes, powdered sugar on my donuts and my brownies and Pancakes, anywhere else I could put it. Pancakes. Waffles. Oh, gosh. Pancakes and waffles. Crepes. Get some crepes going, some strawberry crepes. That sounds really good. Um, so now we're talking about all this food. I'm going to go eat now. Sarah, we're having breakfast for dinner. <laughs> oh, good call. Um, also, um, tomorrow, if you're not signed up for it yet, we are doing, I will be doing um, Brick World's virtual show tomorrow. Uh, we'll be selling on there. For um, Christmas. Most, of course, everything is going to be on our, our website. So if you guys are here, you guys already know where it's at. Um, but we will be on there uh, for at least a couple hours, and then we're going to kind of stroll around to some of the other rooms, um, do some moderating, help 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 out our friends over at Brick World. Um, thank you to Mark Larson for actually putting it on and and continuing Brick World, even though we had our, our physical show canceled uh, this year due to COVID. Um, and hopefully, we'll get it going next year. And as a reminder, speaking of Brickworld and Mox, um, Lego Masters is currently casting for season two, which should be filming any time now. Um, so if you guys are, and ladies are interested in uh, possibly being on TV and building Lego, pick a friend or don't pick a friend. I mean, Sam and Jessica got put together later on. They, didn't, they went by themselves. Um, but try out. You never, never, it doesn't hurt to try out. Send them some photos. Um, if I remember right, they do want to see um, photos of your build, some videos of stuff you've done, um, and then of course they're going to screen test you and see if your person, if your personality is good enough for TV and all that jazz. Um, so if you're really, really introverted, it's probably not the best thing, but it is definitely a good way to break out of that shell, especially since most of everybody in Lego is kind of introverted to a point anyway, except for myself because I talk to everybody. Um, yes, you do. yes, I do. <laughs> As my wife is yelling in the background here. Um, so just make sure you guys have a, a safe holiday. If you guys are looking for that Lego stuff, let us know. Um, we do have a lot of items that we can drop ship to your house or to the store here. Um, that is not in currently available in the store. Um, and then of course we are going to have all that new product available for pre-order, um, in the next week or so, as soon as we get verification of our order here. So, um, once they say, here's what's coming, I'm, I'm putting it out for sale. Um, but it's only going to be online. You cannot pre-order in the store because that way, the, yes, computer. that way we can that way we can have them there. Um, and then whatever's left, whatever doesn't get sold, it will be here in store January first as soon as we open at noon. Um, we're going to be open normal normal time. Uh, our holiday hours are available on our website on Facebook. Well, Facebook not yet, but on Google and everything else, Facebook is stupid. We got to do it week by week. Uh, but we are closing at three o'clock on Christmas Eve. We are closed Christmas Day, and then New Year's Eve, we are closing at 4 um, because we were going to have to um, restock and get all the new stuff up on the shelves and everything else. 
Um, and I, Christmas Eve, uh, I, for, I forgot to mention, we are opening early. We will open at 10 o'clock and closing at 3, um, just so that you guys have a little bit more time to shop and get in here, and then we still have time to go home to our families and, and enjoy whatever family time we can find these days. Um, Sarah's like, get me out of here. I want to go, go to solitary confinement somewhere. Um, <laughs> she's smiling over here. She's right here. Um, and uh, anything else you got, Dave? No, I'm, I think we're good. Dave's, Dave's pretty beat up, pretty beat. We've been here. On the stream and we get to them. Like your head. Yeah, if we get, if we, yeah, yeah, we'll still do that. All right, okay, all right. If we get, if we can get, S seriously, go ahead. next week for our final of the year, Cyber Fun Day, if we get 50 people on the stream watching us. I'll let Chris or Sarah or Ryan dump this bin yeah. of Lego on my head. Not that bin. An Not this bin? bin? An actual bin. A bigger bin? A bin bin. A bin bin. Fine. 14 gallons. Fine. If we get 50 likes next week for our stream on point. Not 50 likes. 50. No, not 50 likes. 50 you viewers, like, like physically in the chat. Like in the chat, in, in, in the stream at one time. One time. Then I'm gonna go swimming in brick. So, oh dear, something like that. Wait, We're should done. we make him step on? <laughs> no, <laughs> listen, listen. No, you said right. bid. I was saying this. Done. All right, it's late. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us for our uh, second to last episode of Cyber Fun Day for the year. We will be back next week for our last one, um, and then we will see you then on New Year's Day. Maybe we'll have like a little celebration or something. New Year's Day. We'll do something fun. I think we should do it like. A Maybe we should. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. We should do it. No, you know what we should do is we, because we're gonna close, and we're gonna open the boxes and put them up for the show. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I think we should do an unboxing, we so can't. that way we can't do it beforehand. No, we can't do nope. it. That's, that's Legos. What about rules. at midnight? Twelve to one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm sleeping. <laughs> well, I won't be here till well. Maybe I will. Well, maybe what do you I'll... mean? Normally you're up till four a.m. I. Can you tell me? This is true. Okay, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna be here at work. So what? Do you know, I know this guy? He wants me to be here at midnight. I'll do it. <laughs> when we're out of here at four, he wants me to stay here another nine hours so we yeah. can all have a box. I, I say you have to stay here. You can come back. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? But I live so far away. He's going to try to break in and get the alarm. He's got a key. Hold on. The alarm went off because your husband said it the other day. It didn't tell me. So. <laughs> that was an accident. Yeah, anyway. Okay. That's not my fault. All right, folks. Before we get into his <laughs> argument over here. Um, at least we can be some entertainment for you guys at home. Um, we will see you guys next Friday. Um, same time, 7.30. Make sure you guys tell your friends and family. It will be the last time before Christmas. Um, so if you're looking for those those last-minute presents or some deals on some stuff, definitely come check it out on Thursday so you can claim it on Friday. Um, and then we'll see you guys then. So thanks for watching. Tell your friends. See you guys next week. Adios, muchachos. Bye, guys. Happy